<clears throat> Alright, so we ran into a little bit of a hiccup um, with the older four cylinder styles. They had to go through, so you could just lock it on there. Whereas the six cylinder has the, uh, the screw, screw bolts. So, what I'm going to do is actually just drill, dr drill the threads out of this using this. Almost fits you there. So that way I can retrofit this distributor into this 80 horsepower right here. Yep, and then we're gonna make it talk. straight holes but we have to get these threads out of here for this to work Moment of truth. Install this uh, distributor. And that one in the back nut, which is the toughest. All right, so we have to reinstall the flywheel with the belt. Uh, just looking for the keyway here.
turn this left slide up the keyway. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. So that's that. So we're looking at the keyway. Okay, so I'm looking for the keyway, which is right there. Okay, so let me pull this cord tight. And rotate the flywheel. Ugh. So gently. To get to the keyway and the flywheel. There it goes. Okay. Pressure on the This flywheel is definitely difficult to turn. I'm just trying to make it one loop. Make sure the dots are lined up. And as you can see, that is lined up with that with the crankshaft. So it's time to put the cap on and seal this in. Okay, so it looks like the L6 is a little bit larger. This is a flattened uh, plate here. Let's see if this will... This will hold it. I'm probably sure to do, do, do this before I put the flywheel on. Okay, all right, excellent. All right, so I have the distributor hooked up to the CDI switch box. I have all the ignition components cooked up. So now I'm just gonna hook up the throttle arm, put the top body on, and we're gonna see if it talks. All right, so I got the throttle arm, had to go with the black arm. Um, the silver block was not accepting that, but, all right, so as I pull this forward, this is gonna spin. And you can 
I can't see that, but the, 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 the butterflies are definitely opening all the way. I do is connect the, uh, the faceplate for the throttle stops. I've already put over a hundred hours into this engine. As you can see, a silver block with a black plate. I had to hook up uh, a, a, a different throttle arm. So I have to connect these these bolts here and connect the front here before we can make it up. All right, so I have everything together. Everything is grounded. The distributor. All the wires are fresh. So now I'm going to do a spark test. Just to see what's going on. Alright, so this is the moment of truth. Let me see if it works out. So I'm going to sell the over one. Definitely a spark.
Okay, so I've successfully uh, turned a blue wire interpreter into a CD ignition system on a silver block, so it's about time. I ran into a lot of problems, a lot of issues. Um, uh, special thanks to Mike Kais. He gave me a lot of advice on uh, how to get this thing running. So, but um, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and happy boating and good luck with the gas prices because <laughs> they are ridiculous.